Ritesh, what was the concept behind making this museum? Well, the concept really was, you know, is a brainchild of my uh, uncle, the vice chairman, mm -hmm. and it was his uh, vision that he really wanted to create this uh, museum just to uh, leave behind or establish what the legacy has been created over the past 85 years and for the future generations to learn, for the, for the organization to learn further and as a, as a history case for everybody to learn from of the strengths uh, which the forefathers have created over the past 85 years. So basically it is a depiction of what the journey has been and what we stand for today and okay. uh, how we foresee the future. So. so should we take a little walk around the museum? Sure, please. The museum is divided in five sections and each section is unique in treatments experiences evoked and the technologies used. In 1929 we started, uh, in the 50s we diversified into or we forayed into mouth freshener category and then in the 80s we got into the food segment by launching catch and then early or late 90s uh, we got into, uh, we again extended the mouth freshener category by launching pass pass and the beverage and got into the beverage segment as well under the catch brand and then late 2000s we got into the confectionery. Zone 1 captures the inspiring story from where we started back in 1929 from a small shop in Chandni Chowk. This story comes to life through grand Chandni Chowk sets in which the story unfolds. Dynamic sets with props recreated using archival material, life-size realistic cutouts, highly realistic mannequins, VFX, films and holographic projections Lighting conditions make the experience completely immersive. Zone 2 celebrates the dynamic spirit and growth of the group. This zone is a 360 degree projected film or a cyclorama. In Zone 3, our brands are displayed in attractive glass kiosks, bringing out products' personalities through abstract installations. A modern streetscape is created in this zone with the geometric display of these glass cases giving a futuristic appeal. This zone acts as a brand showcase for DS Group and highlights the story and USP of each brand. Like I said, you know, we're looking at expanding in the FMCG as a core category mm -hmm. and that is where the focus is now in the FMCG. We're looking at food, uh, we're looking at beverages, we're looking at personal care, we're looking at confectionery. Uh, so variety of categories where we're looking at. Uh, hospitality is another area that we are looking to expand. We already have three op hotels which are already operational. Uh, two will be operational in the next two years. Uh, so what category are they? They are all five-star uh, categories. So uh, one is in Manamahari Nainital, then okay. the other one is in uh, Guwahati which just recently got uh, right. you know, opened. Uh, the third one is in Jim Corbett uh, which is an extension of, which is more of a resort format. Uh, then we are doing one in Jaipur, mm -hmm. uh, then we are doing one in Calcutta. Uh, so these are the five which are on the cards right now. Okay. Uh, then we got forwarded into dairy about two years back. Mm -hmm. So dairy is something where we are committed as well. Where we really want to establish a brand and that's how you know we launched Sheet, which is a brand for dairy. Uh, confectionery is another area where we look to focus and where we really wish to expand there uh, and you know put all our energies there to create confectionery brands uh, as it is a growing market in India. Uh, so what do you want to aim for? Well, basically, right now we, are, we have two categories, uh, or let's say three categories in confectionery. We have the soft gel candies, we have the hard boiled candies, uh, we are into uh, chewing gums, you know, uh, mm -hmm. and then mouth freshness is also a part of the confectionery category where we have a product called Pass Pass. Right. right. So, uh, the idea is now to expand these brands into various other forms of confectionery uh, possible, you know. So, so what, what about a range of home care products? Will you well, I'm no, that no not really. We are, not really home care, but yes, we we forward into personal care. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, and personal care is again an area where we wish to expand. Uh, so, we have, I mean, we have more identified categories from from the perspective of what we have interest in and mm -hmm. what can get synergized with our structure of business. Uh, you know, and that is that are, those are the categories where we would like to get into in the future as well uh, and focus on. The soul of the group is flavours and fragrances which are the core of the products produced by us. The experience of the forest is enhanced by blissful fragrances as per the essence through motion triggered smell machines and ethereal music blended in the ambience. You know, this one over here 
so you can just smell that. Mm, very nice. And that's what we use in our tobacco products, basically. Okay. Or all our mouth fresheners also, mm -hmm. you know, which is like a, uh, to flavor the, the, the product itself. So these are all natural flavors, natural distillation processes, and uh, that's what really gives the, the flavor in the product. And that's how we differentiate our product from the other products. The next area is a recreation of Satyapalji's lab and office using actual objects from their original settings. The furniture, the AC to the many tiny bottles of essence, the tools etc all belonged to him. With the assembling of all the objects matching the woodwork, flooring and ceiling, the visitors are taken back in time and space to his actual lab.